I'm back with Frank Gaffney, executive chairman and founder of the Center for Security Policy. We're talking about his book, The Indictment. Um, Frank, it seems, I, I think you'd agree that because of its economic power, China is in many ways more dangerous than the old Soviet Union ever was. And, and now you've raised the possibility that, that we might go from a cold war with China to a more hot war, maybe something that is triggered by Taiwan, but then spreads much more, much more broadly. Um, my question is, is the United States ready for this? I mean, it seems like this is coming at a time when we couldn't be more internally divided, when the military here has gone woke, at least to a degree. Uh, when we don't seem to be having a lot of strategic uh, discussion about how to handle a situation like this? Do we have the uh, preparedness to deal with what China has in store? The short answer is no. Uh, and for all the reasons you've mentioned, among others, uh, not least, and it must be said, that the preeminent example of the elite capture, of which we spoke earlier, is the commander in chief of the United States military is a controlled asset of the Chinese Communist Party. So I uh, think on top of these various other factors, all of which have, to some degree, at least, I think Chinese machinations behind them, we are looking at a remarkably um, dangerous alignment, a perfect storm, if you will, of things that almost certainly incentivize the Chinese to believe that a shooting war will be one they can wage decisively and with essentially manageable, if not negligible, costs. And I don't mean simply by going after Taiwan and us staying out of it. I think it almost certainly entails going after Taiwan and they act against us here at home as well. Frank, you've outlined, uh, I mean, a sobering and bleak uh, scenario. Talk about some things that you say in the book we can and should do. You have a, a pretty long list of this is what we should do and this is what we should do. Uh, give us a, a few highlights of what are some things we can do. Sure. Well, just to make to share the, the structure a little bit further, we talk about nine different charges of crimes that should be prosecuted, at least in the court of public opinion, as they say, to ensure that the American people understand the threat we face from the Chinese Communist Party and a transnational criminal organization, properly understood, the greatest mafiosa operation in history, and the various ways in which it has already done incredible damage to us in what we call a series of eight different crimes or crimes. We also have 20 specific recommendations as to the sorts of things that need to be done now, uh, starting with just, again, understanding the nature of the threat that we are, in fact, at war, not because we want to be, but because the Chinese communists are determined to take us down and have been at it for quite some time. Then we talk about the need to remove these elites that have been captured. You know, the prospect that we're going into a shooting war with, as I say, the man in charge of our military playing for the other team is, is simply intolerable. So whether it's forced resignations, whether it's impeachment as appropriate, whether it's prosecution for those who are aiding and abetting the Chinese communists' crimes against them. We need to clear out people who are not, in fact, on our side, if we are to have any chance of surviving. We need to fix a number of other things, of course. We need to get off of supply chains that are insane for us to be dependent upon, including for medicine, for heaven's sakes. We need to fix our energy security posture from one that, you know, was bequeathed to Joe Biden of energy dominance to, or at least incipient energy dominance, certainly energy independence, to one in which we are now 
again, dependent and desperately in need of reliable energy sources. These are the sorts of things that, um, along with defenses against biological warfare attack, we've had one already. We must be better prepared for the next one. And rebuilding our military, not least, are just examples of these 20 that I think are the kinds of things that every American should get behind because at the end of the day, if the Chinese do come after us, and I think they will, unless they're deterred, and that's the key point, we need to deter them. It isn't going to matter whether you're a Republican or a Democrat, you're an independent, you're a leftist, you're a, we're all in mortal peril. And lastly, I would just say that, you know, we need ultimately to invoke God's grace on our country. He has blessed this nation more than any other, I think, in history with the possible exception of Israel. And we need his help now if we are to overcome, I think, the mistakes of the past and preserve for our posterity the freedom that was bequeathed to us and that is now in extreme jeopardy, I'm afraid. Folks, the book is called The Indictment, Prosecuting the Chinese Communist Party and Friends for Crimes Against America, China, and the World. Frank, as always, thank you very much for joining me. It's been a privilege. Thank you.